Hello. Yes, a populist revolution will open the door for British nationalism. That's right. The screenshot at the front as regarding the Brexit party has had something like 100,000 members in the, uh, the last 10 days. That is just unbelievable. Now, I'm not sure if that's fully paid up members or supporters or people who've inquired. I'm not quite sure what that actually means, but if indeed it's true, and I have no reason to believe it's not, then that is just fantastic. And I'm sure more and more will be joining as the days, weeks and months go by. You see, if Brexit is betrayed, there will be a populist backlash and the treacherous MPs will feel it at the polls. If Brexit is delivered, populism will go through the roof without a doubt. But populism is just the beginning of the reform, yeah? Which, as we know, will lead to full-blown British nationalism. It has to. There's no other way it can go, right? Populism, remember, is the beginning of the reform. The reform will then be unstoppable, which will lead to full-blown British nationalism. Why do you think Hope Not Hate is campaigning the way it is to stop uh, Brexit being delivered? Because they know where it's heading once it's delivered, right? And so you should as well. Uh, and other people know that as well. Theresa May knows they all do, right? They know where it's heading if Brexit uh, is delivered, right? Now, this is where we come into it, you see. But sadly, we're not organised... We're following the pantomime and circus, the comedy sketch that our enemies have created for us. Keep them all occupied, marching up and down the high street like idiots and clowns and getting arrested. I'm following false idols and clowns and snitches for the state and whatever else. That's where we are now. You see, I'm not planning for now. I'm planning for further down the road. For when, for when British nationalism is victorious. Nigel Farage, populism and whoever else can open the door for us. They can help us along the way, right? That's how we have to look at this. But we're not going to get anywhere reading silly books like Greg Johnson's The, the White uh, Nationalist Manifesto. Uh, it's a load of nonsense. I'll do a review on that. But it's a load of nonsense, Mr Johnson. You're just coming out with crap, you know, and stuff we've heard before and... Let's get our own media. We've already got our own media. Let's educate people. They don't need educating. It's us scared in the living daylights out of them with stuff like that. They're not moved by race. They're moved by emotion, right? Okay, in the white enclaves, the white communities surrounded by hostile neighbours here in Britain. They have a hostile, aggressive neighbour next to them, right? But when they voted BMP, when we fielded uh, candidates... Uh, in those areas at the uh, council elections. They didn't vote to save the white race in that sense of the word. And you know they didn't. Anything race-based will be a cult and doomed to fail. Also Nick Griffin as well. When the million people, was that in 2010, I'm not sure, voted BMP or whenever they did. They weren't people at one time in their lives had been homeschooled from the liberal poison. Well, exactly. All what you're saying, and you, Greg Johnson, doesn't work. What works is electoral politics. Well, it works for now, right? I'm not saying it, it's going to be the final, uh, you know, coup d'etat. I don't know, right? But it works for now, especially when we've got white enclaves, white communities surrounded by hostile and aggressive neighbours. Where tens of thousands of our supporters and voters and former members already live. We can take them places overnight. We're going to, right, after the populist revolution. Trust me, uh, I met up with a uh, veteran British nationalist yesterday. And I'm going to uh, talk about uh, Kensington and Fairfield. The leaflet should be done next week now. Um, but we're talking further uh, beyond that. Really... Uh, Things are moving now. We're gonna get things up and running properly now, which has to, has to, which must be done. We have to do it, right? Let Nigel Farage and his Brexit revolution open the door for British nationalism, and let's be ready to seize the moment. Okay, thank you.